The Leipzig Dresden Railway Company, German, Leipzig Dresdner Eisenbahn Company or LDE, was a private railway company in the Kingdom of Saxony, now a part of Germany. Amongst other things, it operated the route between Leipzig and Dresden, opened in 1839, and which was the first long-distance railway line in Germany. On the 1st of July 1876, the company was nationalized and became part of the Royal Saxon State Railways. History The idea of building a railway to link Leipzig with Strela on the River Elbe, had already been put forward before 1830 by the Leipzig merchant, Karl Gottlieb Tenner. Tenner's idea gained new impetus after the state economist in Leipzig, Friedrich List, publicized his plans for a German railway system in 1833, in which it was envisaged that Leipzig would function as a central hub. That same year, a railway committee was founded which, on 20 November 1833, submitted a petition to the lower house of the Saxon Parliament Landtag in Dresden for the construction of a railway from Leipzig to Dresden. In 1835, the Leipzig-Dresden Railway Company was founded as a private company by twelve citizens of Leipzig, including, Albert Dufour for once 1798–1861, Gustav Harcourt 1795–1865, Karl Lamp 1804–1889 and Wilhelm Theodor Seyferth 1807–1881. At the Easter Trade Fair in 1835 the shares of the company nominally valued at $100 were fully subscribed within just a few hours, making a capital sum of over $1 million available. On 6 May 1835 the Saxon state government authorized the construction and operation of the line as well as the issue of non-interest bearing bonds to the value of $500,000. The total capital generated thus amounted to $1.5 million. In October 1835 the British engineers Sir James Walker and Hawkshaw surveyed the proposed routes and recommended the northern route via Strela estimated cost, $1,808,500 over the route via Mayan $1,956,000. On 16 November 1835 the purchase of land began for the section between Leipzig and the Mold Bridge north of Wurzen. On 1 March 1836 the first sod was cut. Oversight for the entire project lay in the hands of the Saxon Senior Waterways Construction Engineer Oberwasserbaudirectors, Karl Theodor Kunz. Then however the town council of Strela rejected the building of the railway. So the line was rerouted over the river Elbe 7 km further south at Riesa. On 7 April 1839 the first train ran over the Elbe Railway Bridge at Riesa. The route was taken into operation in several stages. 1837, 24 April, Leipzig-Althen 10.60 km 1837, 12 November, althen borsdorf gerishain 4.32 km 1838, the 11th of May, Garishane Mockern, 2.93 kilometers. 1838, the 19th of July, Weintraub Dresden, 8.18 kilometers. 1838, the 31st of July, Mockern Wurzen, 8.00 kilometers. 1838, the 16th of September, Wurzen Dahlen, 17.53 kilometers. 1838, the 16th of September, Oberau Coswig Weintraub, 13.44 km. 1838, the 3rd of November, Dahlen Oschatz, 9.56 km. 1838, the 21st of November, Oschatz Riesa, 13.07 km. 1839, the 7th of April, Riesa Oberau, 28.45 kilometers. On the 7th of April 1839, on the completion of the Elbe Bridge at Riesa, the entire route from Leipzig to Dresden was finally opened. A second track was built immediately afterwards, and the route was then operated with traffic running on the left, in line with English practice until 1884. 
From 1851 to 1878 a single tract, 5 km long, connecting railway was operated in Leipzig, that branched off from the Saxon-Bavarian railway, ran eastwards around the city in a large curve and finally entered the Dresden railway north of Dresden station. On 1 December 1860 the Leipzig-Dresden railway opened a side line that branched off the main line in Coswig and ran to Mayen. On 14 May 1866 it opened services on another side line, which branched off the main route in Borsdorf and initially ran as far as Grimma, then on 28 October 1867 to Leisnig, on 2 June 1868 to Doboln, on 25 October 1868 to Nassen and on 22 December 1868 it was finally extended as far as Mayen, so that a parallel southern route was established between Borsdorf and Coswig. The Gronhain branch, opened on 14 October 1862, went into the ownership of the LDE on 1 July 1869. On 15 October 1875 the LDE opened a connecting route from Riesa to Elsterwerda since 1815 part of the Kingdom of Prussia, that from 17 July 1875 was linked to Berlin and Dresden. The route from Nassen to Freiburg, as part of the line from Nassen to Moldau, was completed on 15 July 1873, and extended as far as Mutta, Sa, by 2 November 1875. On 15 August 1876 the route reached the Bohemian border at Moldau. After the collapse of the Elbe Bridge at Riesa, the General Assembly of the shareholders decided on 29 March 1876 to sell the Dresden Railway to the state of Saxony. On 1 July 1876 the operation and management of the Leipzig-Dresden Railway was transferred to the Royal Saxon State Railways. The «Railway Monument» in Leipzig, erected in 1878, commemorates the development of the Dresden Railway from its emergence as a private initiative of Leipzig citizens to its nationalization. The routes Leipzig-Dresden Leipzig Bavarian Station Leipzig Dresden Station 1851 to 1878 Borsdorf Coswig Asterisk 1860 1868 Priestovitz Gronhain procured in 1868 Riesa Elsterwerda Asterisk 1875 Nossen Freiburg Moldau Asterisk 1876 Topic the locomotives The following list is incomplete. Topic Sources Udo Becker, Die Leipzig Dresdner Eisenbahn Company, Transpress VEB Verlag für Verkehrswesen, Berlin 1981. Die Leipzig Dresdner Eisenbahn, Anfang und Gegenwart einer 150 J. Origin, HRSG. V. Fritz Borchert, Transpress VEB Verlag für Verkehrswesen, Berlin 1989, ISBN 3-344-00354-2 Panorama der Eisenbahn zwischen Leipzig und Dresden, Kodischen der Verlage Transpress, Berlin und Tourist, Berlin, Leipzig, 1989, HRSG. Gerhard Schlegel, ISBN 3-344-00348-8, reprint Inas Originals von 1839. <laughs> External links The Leipzig-Dresden Railway Line Through Time